Colonel, this is Snake. I'm in Smash again. Oh, oh Metal Gear. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. I apologize for not talking about Smash Ultimate yet, um, because I was busy with universes, and then I also had surgery where they stuck a tube down my throat, and my voice is a little rough from it. Um, that was actually a huge strain on my throat right there, trying to sound like Snake. Ow. Um, <clears throat> but I'm mostly fine now. I'm mostly recovered. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is a unscripted video discussing Smash Ultimate. So if I stutter a lot or have, like, really long pauses of nothing or repeat myself a billion times or any other number of problems, then that's why. It's unscripted. I'm still not good at unscripted stuff. <laughs> Universes is still the only thing I script, though, so... Pretty much anything that isn't universes is a mess. Um, but anyways, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I need to stop rambling. Um, wow, I could not have predicted this. <laughs> I did make a roster prediction video way back when. Um, I assumed there were going to be some cuts. Like, I assumed Greninja was going to get cut in favor for um, whatever Pokemon is next. Or whatever Pokemon is more recent. Like, there's a lot for the grass type of this generation. A lot of people predicting that one. Um, I forget its name because I don't know how to Pokemon. <laughs> but, yeah, people were predicting him instead of Greninja, so I thought Greninja was going. Then I thought Duck Hunt was going and they'd find some other obscure NES representative. Or maybe he'd go because the Ice Climbers are coming back to represent the NES. But, nope, Duck Hunt's staying too! And then I thought a couple of the clones were going, like Dr. Mario and Dark Pit. I thought Lucina would stay because she was popular enough, but surprise! Both Dr. Mario and Dark Pit stayed with Lucina. So there you go. And in addition to that, they now got a new name. They're not clones anymore. They're Echo Fighters. And Daisy is a brand new Echo Fighter. So it seems like Sakurai is embracing clones and just found, found a new name for them. Which does open up the floodgates because uh, for new clones that could come. Um, I'm, I'm not a game programmer, game designer, or developer or anything. But I, I imagine that developing clones isn't too hard. I mean, you don't have to redo any animations, just adjust the properties and make a different model. In fact, you probably already had a model from having a trophy of those characters. Um, like, there were Daisy, there's a Daisy trophy in Smash Wii U. They could have just reused that model for her appearance in uh, Smash Ultimate. And it makes me wonder what kind of other Echo Fighters we could get. Um, one of my biggest Echo Fighter predictions is, when I looked at Sonic's little character trailer video, for Smash Ultimate, the little 20 second clip on the website, it showed that Knuckles was his assist trophy. And I've noticed that third party characters typically only have one assist trophy. Pac-Man has his ghosts, Mega Man has, um, Elec Man, uh, Sonic has Shadow, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, um, 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 Snake had Gray Fox and Brawl. You know, something like that. Um, I mean, I'm not counting the DLC characters, so that's why Ryu and Bayo and Cloud don't have ones yet. But they may have one in Smash Ultimate. I'd love to see Akuma or Ken show up as an assist trophy or have one of them be an Echo Fighter for Ryu. But anyways, back to Sonic. Knuckles was an assist trophy for Sonic. And if my theory is true about third parties only getting one assist trophy each, it makes me curious about where Shadow went. Like, maybe Shadow could be a possible Echo Fighter for Sonic. So that's pretty cool to think about. It. Um, that's one of my Echo Fighter speculations. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of info dumped, like, for example, when it comes to stages, um, uh, all the state, uh, not all the stages, but a huge number of them have been confirmed to be returning, and there's Final Destination and Battlefield forms for both, which is gonna be cool. Um, I hope for Battlefield forms, they call them Alpha stages, or Delta stages, or just some other letter of the Greek alphabet, because the Final Destination versions are Omega, so it would kind of make sense for the battlefield to be something else. Especially since Echo Fighters have Epsilon symbols, which are another letter of the Greek alphabet. I wonder what other Greek alphabet letters are going to show up in the game. Another thing about stages, though, is that we actually got um, a stage hazard option toggle confirmed. Um, <coughs> which is amazing. They didn't say it in the direct, but we heard from some competitive players that were playing at the Nintendo Treehouse that, in fact, you are able to toggle stage hazards, which should make a lot more stages legal that weren't before, which would be very interesting in competitive play, because that's one complaint I have about competitive Smash. So many stages are banned, so we end up seeing, like, the same 
four or five stages during tournaments, which is why I get bored watching Smash and stuff. But now with the ability to turn hazards off, this should make things a bit more interesting. We also got eight player smashes coming back and a lot of new other features and mechanics like, uh, we have directional air dodging now, we have ladder attacks and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming to Smash Ultimate that wasn't there before or was there before and got cut in the previous game. Um, I'll leave modes and stuff that I want to see in there for a separate video or something, but here's a little bit of, a tiny bit of roster speculation. Um, we have Ridley, Inklings, and Daisy confirmed as newcomers, um, and Sakurai said that there wasn't going to be this many newcomers this time around because it was really hard to get all the old characters back, and we do have a ton of characters already, like over 60 just from the get-go. Um, but Sakurai did say there were still some newcomers, just not a lot, and I'm going to speculate just a little bit, just on one newcomer. Um, there's going to be another Smash event at CEO. Um, it's a fighting game, a competitive fighting game tournament event that takes place this month from the 29th to July 1st. Now, this is interesting because it's an official Nintendo-held tournament outside of any Nintendo-created events. This is, I think this is like the first one they've done for Smash. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they've never done a, an official Smash tournament outside of their own events. So, them doing one at CEO is a big deal. And it's a bigger deal because it's happening on June 29th. You know what else happens on June 29th for Nintendo? The release of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo has timed reveals in Smash for this before. For example, uh, around back in 2013, when Rosalina was confirmed for Mario Kart 8 and uh, Super Mario 3D World, she was then revealed for Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. It was perfect timing. I believe Shulks was timed with something too, I, I'm not sure what, but I do believe it was timed, so was Little Max. Um, there are some I'm unfamiliar with because I don't know as much. I do know a lot about Little Mac, but anyways, um, uh, yeah. So they seem to time reveals with certain events, which is really cool. Um, so it would be interesting to see them time Crash's reveal with CEO and the release of the Insane Trilogy on the Switch. So I do think Crash is going to be revealed. I, Crash is like my most wanted newcomer, uh, my most wanted third party character. And the one I think has the best chance with how popular and relevant he's become again thanks to the Insane Trilogy and how big he was back then. And it's, the timing is just too good. Like, the one time Nintendo holds a Smash event outside their own official thing and it's for a game that hasn't even been released yet. And they timed it with the Insane Trilogy. It's a bit too coincidental to not mean something if you catch my drift. But anyways, that's just me just speculating. I'll probably be really disappointed if Crash doesn't show up, but I'm not really expecting it either. It's just a thought. Um, but anyways, that's my discussion and thoughts and speculation about Smash Ultimate so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be talking about this game more in the future as more info gets revealed. Leopold the Brave, out.